right, very good morning to all audience and also the panel. I'm Jeku Chong from SMK Sultan Abu Bakar. Today, I, it will be a very pleasure and a good chance for me to share there is a method that can help and improve our students. So, for these past 12 years, I have a lot of experience with the students and I found that this method might be easy and simple, but it will be able to help the students right, to improve to a better performance. So, today I'm going to share how do we draw the Hayes Law diagram with the relate and connect method. It might be look simple, easy, but it has a great impact to our students. All right, let's go to it. Okay, so for the very first part, okay, what made me have this idea? All right, I take my students from 6 Beta 2, which have four girls and two boys. Okay, so in this class, all right, actually they have, they are very good and they always focus in the class. But then, there's one day when I conduct my lesson, suddenly, when I give questions, they all seem very quiet. That make me very scared. So that's why I come up with something that I need to do on them and check on them. So the reason motivates why I conduct this method and teach my students, because first thing, I found that my student can't write equation correctly including the physical state, including the ratio. Then, I found that without the equations, my students will be completely cannot draw the Hayes Law diagram, cannot connect all the equations. Definitely, they can't solve the question at all. When they cannot solve the questions, when they cannot answer all of them correctly, definitely, they are going to not able to pass, not able to score, and then lost motivation. First chapter already demotivate them. How do we continue until the last topic in the semester two? That's why this is the reason make me feel that I need to do something. I need to implement re relate and connect method in order to let them gain back their esteem and also fight for another seven topics. All right, so in my research, I've put this few focus and the objective. First thing, I want all my students will be 100% able to write the chemical equations correctly with the definitions. Number two, with these definitions, equations, they must be able to write chemical equation correctly with the physical state as well as the ratio. Without this basic thing, this method is not able to implement. All right. Okay, so with the correct equation, with the correct ratio, correct physical state, then only the relate and connect method can be come in together to build up the Hayes Law diagram. Right? Hayes Law diagram, as your information, it is one of the core of this chapter thermochemistry in the term 2 STPM chemistry. Alright, so generally, my focus, my objective of this method is just one my student pass. That's a minimum. But what I will prefer is I want them to achieve 4.0A for chemistry. Of course, I will let them know this is what I am, what's my target. I also hope that you can get it as well. So that's why very specified objective will be students may must be able to write chemical equation correctly based on the definition, ratio, physical state. Then only we can use the physical state to relate the equation. Lastly, then only they can build the Hayes Law diagram. So maybe from the beginning until this slide, you will heard that why Jeku Chong keep informing us, telling us the import, uh, the chemistry, equation, chemical equations, ratio, physical state, because this method, the most important basic part is chemical equation first. Without that this method is not able to conduct at all. So that's why I keep emphasize to gain your attention about this. So what actually I did, I implement to my class. First of all, okay, I do a pra test. I give some example question. Okay, so after that, I collect the answer and I mark. So based on their answer, I will find some problem. So when the students show some mistake and they maybe blank the whole question. 
I will please them, come forward one-to-one, -one, discuss. Uh, example like, hey, Bon, uh, what's happened to your answer? Why it's so difficult? Why you give um, such equation? What's happened actually you have, all right? With a gentle and care method to, to interview them. Not scolding, but it's interview more like care, right? So that's why they will tell us all the problems, what actually they face and what actually they are having. So with this result, with this interview, then I know that I must do analysis. The root, the problem, how to solve. So that's the reason come up with the relate and connect method. So, okay, from here, all right, I will implement the relate and connect method. And then how this method actually helped them, the next slide I will discuss more. I will let everyone know the simple method how to give a huge impact to them. So, of course, after we're done with the method, I will conduct with the post-test and then I analyze again, see whether my, prob my method is it able to overcome all the problems that I have there. So, after that, of course, each teacher, each lesson, we always need to come up with reflections. What problem actually we are facing? What problem actually that we haven't overcome yet? And how do we use the same easy method to bring forward to the other topics? Because semester three, organic chemistry will use the same idea again. Okay, so, all right. Of course, from the beginning, all right, I will give them some guideline and I will let them know the importance of finding keyword. So I will give them a lot of questions and I ask them. So that's, all right, times for you to find out the keyword. Use your highlighter, highlight the important things. So for example, in the questions, they will highlight the heat of formation for carbon dioxide, heat of formation for carbon monoxide, and so on. So after that, of course, they have to define, right? They have to use the definition. They have to apply the definitions to give one general equation for each of them. So for example, okay, when I say, students, what do you mean by heat of formation? Uh, then the student will be say, natural physical state, form one mole compound. So with this kind of simple general method, so they are able to build a lot of equation. That's why in the third box there, I have shown that when students can use the correct definition, they can build the correct equation, just show like the slide there. All right, okay, so now, after that, okay, for example, after we have write out four equation, so just like this example, okay, everyone can see that, all right, I highlight them with different color. That is four color there. Oh, so the very first one, we can see that, right? The carbon and carbon solid. So I'll ask the student, can you see what's the similarities? So the student will know, hey, same element, same chemical formula, same physical state. There must be something there. All right, then, for example two, the hydrogen. H2, same formula, same physical state, also gas. Something there as well. Then, students will able to use the C2H6 gas and also H2O and also the CO2 gas to link them. So this part, students start to relate. All equations in this box, they can be related by the carbon, by the chemical formula, by the physical state. They got something relation there. They got some clip over there. That is what I want them to know first. So. After that, how do we connect these four equations become a diagram? That is the main point. That is the core of this uh, method. All right, so what I did is, okay, I show the students. Okay, this is what question asked. All right, so just now we have one equation that relate carbon. That is carbon can form carbon dioxide. All right, so check back. Which equation link carbon to carbon dioxide? All right, so let's see. All right, the green one. C plus O2 becomes CO2. That is the joint. That is the joint to link the first and the last equation. That's why students will know that carbon can form CO2 by this equation, right? So this equation, the green one, right, can be related then. So same thing for hydrogen H2, the red one can form the purple color H2O by using the joint equation. The red go to purple. And lastly, the last line will be 
the blue one connect to the green and the purple. So by using same physical state, equation equations can be connected. Then they can form out the whole diagram. Then they can apply the Hayes law method to come up with the calculations and solve the questions. Right? So of course, this is only one of the ex simple examples. So students need to keep write more equation, try more, experience more, then they can find. Same physical state means they got the click there. They can be connected. They are the join. So that is the method that actually I implement. I show my students what I actually did on them. So, all right, of course, okay, you will wish to know that what is the improvement and what students able to improve. Okay, so this graph is actually showing the test before and after the method is implemented. So before that, okay, of course, we have a good student, we also have some weaker students. So the weak students even cannot score 10 marks for a teacher actually quite upset. It's not because for us, but it's like the students put a lot of effort, but at the end, effort and outcome is not balanced. Chemistry teacher is always asked about balance equation. So same thing, I also hope that their effort and their result can be equal, can be balanced. All right, so this is before. So after I done the relate and connect method, so you can see that the yellow color, all result rise up. So good students become from one, become two. And the, even the weaker students all straight away also jump up. So it can clearly show that this method actually give them a clearer idea how to make the equations connect, combine, okay, become the Hayes law diagram. So of course, before I end of my uh, presentations, the last part as a teacher, we cannot always think that we are the best. Every method, 100% good. Students, they are human. They are not machine. So each student will have their own uh, problems. They have their own thinking. They have their own obstacle. So that's why we have to do reflection based on their characteristic to improve and implement to the other batch or maybe in future or the other topic as well. So. That will be few uh, things I go through with this research method. Okay, first one, I found that actually relate and connect method really make them have a clear picture. The equations that they have no longer all around, but they know that same physical state, same chemical formula can be relate, can be connect. Okay, all right. Writing balanced equations, writing physical state based on definition is also another important element. So, of course, this method will be not able just for thermochemistry, not just for few equations. So I still have to let them experience more the, the questions with more equations involved, maybe five or six equations involved together in order to have more connections can be what use this method to them. Okay, lastly, all right, this method also can be actually relate and connect to the other topic. Because in semester two, all of the chemistry, actually, they give us the basic. But when it comes to applications, then we have to use the basic concept, relate and connect with the questions. So basically, relate and connect method for me is a very important scientific method, scientific thinking skill, in order to let the student not just learn, memorize, store in themselves, but use the basic relate with the situations and connect the statement with them. All right, so I hope that my simple uh, briefing and presentations will be able to give everyone some basic idea, simple, basic, but helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you.